So now uh, we have seen session parameters for a single database. For database of multiple multiple schemas. So what are the multiple schemas? I just know here. This is the one schema source one, source two, source three. Multiple schemas are having the data. I want to extract the data from each and every schema. I want to load in the single target. What is a single target? A single target is this is a single target. This is the target. Here I want to load the data. So in between, put all any transformations, then load the data into target. Okay. So for the source one, source two, source three, first of all I have to create connections. What connections? ODPC connections for how integration service, relational connections. Come here, only Scott and target is there. I want to create for source 1, source 2, source 3. By clicking new button, how to create a connection. For Oracle, click on OK. So here, Oracle underscore source 1 underscore connection. Username is source 1. Password is and ORCL is the click on OK. And I click on new. Again, Oracle, go to this same multiple connections for underscore connection and source two and tiger. Password is or CL is the connection name. And create one more connections. That is source three username is source one source three password is tiger or cell. So first of all we'll check all the manually source one or cell. Tiger is that select star from EMP. Here also we have a EMP table. Data is there. Data is there. Tenth department data. Right? So for that I have created a connections. One, two, three. If I want to use this source one, then I will get the data, source one data. First of all, so you truncate the table, target table, by target table is truncated, there is no data. Here, instead of close, so here, instead of using, instead of using particular, this one, I want to use connection, okay, right, and I don't want to provide any parameter file path. Why? Because there is no parameter. Directly I am giving a connection, target connection and apply, OK and go, save and workflow, run the workflow. Start workflow, go to, yeah, succeeded, succeeded and check the data, what data is there. So 10th department data is there. <coughs> the department data actually. If I use, if I use another connection, go to mapping, same source, if I use another connection, source to connection and repository, save, run the workflow, workflow, start workflow, succeeded, succeeded and come here and check the data. So we are getting data from source 2. What is the data existed in the source 2? We will see. 
connect source to tiger select star from so 20 department that is loaded if you connect to if you connect to source 3 there also you can see here 30 department if i provide that one here if i provide that one source 3 save the report and run the workflow start workflow and check succeeded and check the data now you can see the 30 department data also loaded so instead of modifying every time session so we can create a parameter file we can create a session parameters for database of a multiple schemas so same single file single uh, uh, session parameter file we can change the values of the parameter every time it will read the data from that schema so now first truncate the table there is no data so now we will see we will create a one parameter file so previously we created one parameter file session parameter file 2 here the folder name is correct ok the folder name is correct and the session name is correct and here so he has caught one so instead of providing a specific what I want to do go here so mapping source here instead of this select and uh, score source generic name and source and copy this click on ok so we have given db connection underscore source and open the parameter file instead of providing this generic db connection underscore source and here whatever you are providing from that it will get the data so now here instead of giving this one source one if i give source one here file save so this is the parameter which is already given target is given and whenever you are using a parameters you must provide a parameter file path location where is the path location here so copy this copy this and come here and paste here The file name is session underscore parameter underscore file two dot prm. That's it. Apply. Okay. So whatever the connection in this file, in this parameter file two dot prm, in this file, whatever the parameter is there. So file two parameter is there source. So this is already given. Whatever the value given from this location data will be extracted. Right now, empty data. But here from the file I given just the source one. What is the data existed in the source? Here. What is the username? Source one. Select star from EMP. 10 okay now if you run this if you run this workflow so it has to succeeded first of all and succeeded and now you will see the 10th department data why because so source 1 contains 10th department so now I want to open this just providing instead of 2 the value I am changing save it and the source 2 what contains data source 2 tiger select star from emp here 20 data 
okay so if you run the workflow without modifying anything so simply data of 20 department 20 department is loaded right and come here and change from 2 to 3 and go to file save and again run the workflow start workflow so it, it has to be succeeded uh, so what is my the source 3 30 so we will see the 30 department data also let me order by order by see 10 20 30 30 department data so what i am doing for each and every source i created a one odbc connection by using that odbc connection i am loading into target database so single source single parameter file by changing these values same parameter i have utilized here i have utilized the source I have given the parameter and given a parameter file that file contains per parameter this is the value whatever the value you are passing according to the value data will be loaded data will be loaded so this is nothing but how to extract the data how to extract the data from multiple databases or a single database with multiple schemas you can extract the data so now we have seen parameter file creating for multiple files and we'll see the next video how to extract at a time from multiple files multiple flat files that we'll see in the next video